Hello YouTube, my name's Nero and today we use some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare playing a bit of Search and Destroy here on the map comeback using the AK-12 and the particular variation I'm using is something called the Bleeder, which is a very interesting variation of the AK-12. What it does is it gives the weapon plus two damage but minus two to your fire rate. So the weapon itself hits like a truck, but it has a very slow fire rate. And so because of that, you find yourself really weak to things like the Ball 27, any kind of weapon that has a high fire rate, like a submachine gun and stuff like that. So it's a weapon variant that I use a lot in Search and Destroy, but I don't use it a whole lot in Respawn Game Modes, because in Respawn Game Modes, you, weren't, you generally find yourself you know, being swarmed by people. You find yourself in situations where you didn't exactly want to set it up that way. It just kind of happens, and you die, and you can forget about it. But in Search and Destroy, where you're a lot more in control of where you're going and what is happening to you i like using this weapon a whole lot very powerful you look at the score down there in the bottom left we're down zero to five and you need six wins to win in search and destroy so we're down zero to five we're run one round away from losing and we actually make the comeback which is pretty nice i had a whole lot of fun with that i was having a pretty decent game overall with my teammates were really kind of slacking throughout the entirety of the game and so i ended up kind of pulling it out and carrying my team to victory as well as they help as well so don't, don't act like i get all the kills and all the rounds or anything but my teammates ended up stepping up a little bit we end up doing a lot better and we end up getting the comeback so hopefully you guys all sit back relax and enjoy that so the news i wanted to talk to you guys today in this video the whole topic of the video is a little bit of call of duty news as well as a little bit of activision news which if you guys all know activision is actually the publisher for call of duty they're also they're a giant company they own a lot of different properties lots of stuff you've probably heard of call of duty destiny they're part uh i think they're part own blizzard or they're uh, activision blizzard they're partnered somehow like these guys make infinite money activision just is so ridiculously popular uh, tons of giant gaming franchises are published by Activision. So Activision itself is just very popular, makes tons of money. And they put out a statement today actually saying, and I'm going to read this out to you guys, in only its first month of release, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is already the number one top-selling console game of the year through November in the United States overall, as well as individually on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, the Xbox 360, and the PlayStation 3. Now, what does this mean? What does this mean, guys? Uh, basically, what it means is Advanced Warfare is ridiculously popular, has sold a ton of copies already, so much so that overall it is the biggest game of 2014. Keep in mind, through November, something might come out in December, which would uh, overthrow it, but doubtful something's going to come out in December and outsell Call of Duty, because chances are Call of Duty is going to get even more sales because it's going to be December, the holiday sales, things like that, you know, so uh, chances are, overall, Advanced Warfare is going to be the top-selling game of 2014 for consoles anyway, at least for consoles. Now, this means that Call of Duty itself is not dying! Believe it or not, everybody, I'm on YouTube, man. I've made videos talking about this a lot just because it, it honestly comes to me so often. I've made probably two or three videos on this exact topic before. And people, every time, they, they always wonder, Nero, you already talked about this. Why are you talking about it again? And it's like, because I get this thing all the time. This is all people talk to me about. People send messages to me. Every time a new game's going to come out, I have to hear this influx of people saying, Call of Duty's going to die because of this game. It's like, no, Call of Duty is going to be fine. It's a very popular game. It really is. It's, it's going to take more than one game good game release for Call of Duty to be thrown to be dethroned as like the most popular game on consoles. It's gonna take a long time for that to happen. It happened when Destiny came out, which turns out Call of Duty in its first month has already outsold Destiny, which which has been out for several months. You know, give or take that. Take with that what you will. It's um Call of Duty has basically steamrolled over Destiny. Every time like a new Battlefield game comes out, people are always talking to me, Nero, this Battlefield, I personally believe it's gonna be the COD killer. What do you think? I'm like, no, it's Call of Duty. You can't just be Call of Duty itself is just so it's so it's, it's so part of our community here on YouTube. It's so part of the gaming community as a whole. And just in terms of like our culture, like the, the American like gaming culture, Call of Duty is a household name. People that don't even play video games know what Call of Duty is. Parents buy this stuff for their kids. Everybody plays Call of Duty or at least is aware of Call of Duty is so it's infinitely popular. And that's very evident in the fact that even now which, good God, when did the first Call of Duty come out? Was it 2003? I want to say the original Call of Duty was 2003. But uh, it's now 2014, which if I'm right, that's 11 years later, and it's still the number one game. You know, or Back during like the, the early to mid-2000s, Halo was the big console game, right? Even though it was exclusive to Xbox, it was still the big console game, right? And then once in 2007, when Call of Duty 4 came out, that game just sucked all the air out of the gaming space and became so ridiculously powerful, and just every everything man everyone was playing that game everyone was talking about that game and then that's when call of duty really started to jump into the mainstream that's when call of duty became really what it is today that's why you say 
so many times like Call of Duty 4 was the revolutionary game. It was so ridiculously popular and part of that was all the innovations that it brought to the franchise, which are still in the game today. And just the fact that it was able to take something like Halo, which was really kind of cornered into the mainstream, to kind of you know, slide that out of the way a little bit. And now Call of Duty is now the number one game. It has been for several, several, several years, like going on 10, which is crazy to me that Call of Duty is that popular. You know, to think about Call of Duty being so popular for so many years really states to the fact that uh, the gaming community as a whole, we as a community love Call of Duty. We play a ton of Call of Duty. Of course, you guys do too, because you guys are watching my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is probably 99.9% .9 Call of Duty. So, of course, you guys love it, but just like uh, other gamers in general, Call of Duty is a very popular game. And because of that, there's always the hipster people that hate Call of Duty and stuff like that. But overall, it is still a very, very popular game. And that's very evident in the fact that even with a brand new developer, which uh, Sledgehammer Games, was, this is the first time they've ever actually soloed a Call of Duty project. They worked a little bit with Modern Warfare 3. Now, exactly what they did with Modern Warfare 3 was never actually fully discussed. I've heard people say, well, they did the multiplayer for Modern Warfare 3. And I've heard other people say, well, no, they did the campaign for Modern Warfare 3. It's No one really knows who never actually you know, released that information. But they did help with Modern Warfare 3 a little bit. But this is the first time they were soloing their entire project. They're making their own Call of Duty game, and they 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 got risky with it. They really got risky with it in that they started you know, adding exo movements, adding the entire exo suit thing, which really changed how Call of Duty is played. It is completely different than any other Call of Duty just because of the movement system. While the movement system it doesn't really change around tons of things, it still is something completely different, and that's something we've never seen in Call of Duty before. They add the ability to have a looting system within the game with these supply drops, which is another risk they probably took that maybe some people wouldn't have liked, but it turns out people general consensus is that we love it they give us the ability to customize our score streaks you, you guys know that all the innovations this game has they changed they played around with this game a lot and for a new developer that was a big risk and it turns out it paid off very very well it paid off so well that this is the biggest game of 2014 the article well not really the article but the statement that was released by activision goes on to say destiny the epic new release from bungie is the number two top selling console game among all the titles in the united states in 2014 through november and skylanders is is the number one kids video game franchise of the year through November in the United States. So basically Activision, <laughs> while Call of Duty is still Call of Duty being like the most ridiculously popular franchise that is, they have a bunch of other IPs that are also ridiculously popular. Of course, Destiny is a giant game that people are still playing and they're still enjoying that and I'm happy for them. That's definitely great. I got a lot of flack honestly for not playing Destiny and because I kind of like had almost like this negative opinion towards Destiny. Here's my opinion on Destiny from someone that's never even actually played it. I've seen some videos on it, I've read stuff on it, I've seen reviews of it, and I saw what Destiny was, which is basically, even though they refuse to use this phrase, it is basically a console MMO, but it's also a first-person shooter. And that sounds pretty neat. I love the idea of like an MMO-style game. Even though it doesn't have a whole lot of MMO-style elements, it still has that MMO feel where you've got a bunch of people working together, and you've got raids to do with your friends and with other people, and you've got dungeons and things like that. That all sounds great, and it does sound like a lot of fun, and it's something I probably would have tried to get into if I I wasn't already into other MMO games already. The Elder Scrolls Online and of course the classic tried and true World of Warcraft are two MMO games that I already like and I already pay for and I already love. And so adding a third MMO, like MMOs are not like first person shooters. They're not like RPGs or you know single player games. They're not ones where you can play a bunch of them all at once. MMOs you kind of have to pick one because it, it consumes a ridiculous amount of time in your life, right? So that's the reason I never end up playing Destiny. But Destiny itself is a very popular game. It's actually the number two top selling console game game of the year which is very nice because it is a brand new title it's very it's brand new it's something that we didn't know what we were going to get is an entirely new intellectual property and it ended up doing out very well and of course skylanders it is a kids game for the most part i don't know much about skylanders i know that you get little figurines and stuff like that and that kind of like interacts with the console and they sell them right next to uh the xbox games and the playstation games at my local walmart that's how i know about skylanders but apparently skylanders is the number one kids game in the united states which is very which is a very popular game overall i think some of my I consider them nieces and nephews, but my cousin's children, uh, they play around with Skylanders and stuff like that. So it's a very popular game. And overall, Activision owns all this stuff, which is ridiculous how popular Activision is, how much money they're making, which can only spell good things for the future. They're going to be able to, you know, you look at the fact that Call of Duty was so ridiculously popular this year, that gives Treyarch the ability to... Try some new things, I suppose, next year, as well as Destiny is going to have all the money it would ever need to go ahead and continue to work with that game and make it make it better throughout the years by adding in raids, adding in dungeons. That's the thing about MMO games. MMO games don't just, you know, they're not done after a year and you get a brand new one every year. You basically get new expansions, and expansions are what continues the game going. Like, you think of World of Warcraft. Uh, originally, they had, like, vanilla World of Warcraft, and then after a few years, they put out, uh, I think, the Burning Crusade was the first expansion, then Wrath of the Lich King, then Cataclysm, then Mists of Pandora. 
Pandaria, now Warlords of Draenor. They basically, every couple years, add an expansion, which is like an entirely new game, but still within the same game. That's how they end up running that stuff. So hopefully that kind of stuff will end up happening to Destiny so people uh, can continue to play that game for years on end. But there it is, ladies and gentlemen. We had the comeback. I went 13-6, and six, which is okay, I suppose. But we end up coming back from a 0-5 to five deficit, which is uh, pretty nice. I thought it was a pretty nice overall gameplay. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys all found it helpful and informative. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. Let me know in the comments. I got a question. I got a question here for all of you, and you guys always get some good replies in the comments, so I want to know about this. Do you think, because of the overwhelming success of Advanced Warfare being the number one game of 2014, even though it's only been out for a month, it's still already the number one game, do you think this is going to influence Treyarch at all to add more Advanced Warfare style things into their game? Now keep in mind, keep in mind, Treyarch's been already working on this game for about two years now. They've Actually just over two years, they've already been working on their game. So if they, whatever they're going to do, the chances are they've already done most of it. But do you think they're actually going to influence them a little bit more? Like for example... The next Treyarch game, if they did not have already have the idea of a looting system via supply drops in their game, do you think that something like that might end up making its way into the game after seeing the success that it had here in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? Let me know about that. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.